Mill, Wikipedia article audio. A mill is a device that breaks solid materials into smaller pieces by grinding, crushing, or cutting. Such comminution is an important unit operation in many processes. There are many different types of mills and many types of materials processed in them. Historically mills were powered by hand, working animal, wind, or water. Today they are usually powered by electricity. Grinding laws Grinding machines Ball mill Rod mill Autogenous mill Sag mill Pebble mill High pressure grinding rolls Burestone mill Vertical shaft impactor mill Tower mill Types of grinding mills The grinding of solid matters occurs under exposure of mechanical forces that trench the structure by overcoming of the interior bonding forces. After the grinding the state of the solid is changed, the grain size, the grain size disposition and the grain shape. Milling also refers to the process of breaking down, separating, sizing, or classifying aggregate material. For instance rock crushing or grinding to produce uniform aggregate size for construction purposes, or separation of rock, soil, or aggregate material for the purposes of structural fill or land reclamation activities. Aggregate milling processes are also used to remove or separate contamination or moisture from aggregate or soil and to produce dry fills prior to transport or structural filling. Grinding may serve the following purposes in engineering. In spite of a great number of studies in the field of fracture schemes there is no formula known which connects the technical grinding work with grinding results. To calculate the needed grinding work against the grain size changing three half empirical models are used. These can be related to the Huckey relationship between particle size and the energy required to break the particles. In stirred mills, the Huckey relationship does not apply and instead, experimentation has to be performed to determine any relationship. With W as grinding work in Kj slash Kg, C as grinding coefficient, Da as grain size of the source material and DE as grain size of the ground material. A reliable value for the grain sizes Da and DE is D80. This value signifies that 80% of the solid matter has a smaller grain size. The bonds grinding coefficient for different materials can be found in various literature. To calculate the Kicks and Rittinger's coefficients following formulas can be used. C, K, equals, 1.151, C, B, D, B, U, 0.5, equals 1.151 C backslash comma. C, R, equals, 0.5, C, B, D, B, L, 0.5, equals 0.5 C backslash comma. With the limits of bonds range, upper D bulletin equals 50 mm and lower D B L equals 0.05 mm. To evaluate the grinding results the grain size disposition of the source material and of the ground material is needed. Grinding degree is the ratio of the sizes from the grain disposition. There are several definitions for this characteristic value. In materials processing a grinder is a machine for producing fine particle size reduction through attrition and compressive forces at the grain size level. See also crusher for mechanisms producing larger particles. In general, grinding processes require a relatively large amount of energy, for this reason, 
an experimental method to measure the energy used locally during milling with different machines was recently proposed. A typical type of fine grinder is the ball mill. A slightly inclined or horizontal rotating cylinder is partially filled with balls, usually stone or metal, which grind material to the necessary fineness by friction and impact with the tumbling balls. Ball mills normally operate with an approximate ball charge of 30%. Ball mills are characterized by their smaller diameter and longer length, and often have a length 1.5 to 2.5 times the diameter. The feed is at one end of the cylinder and the discharge is at the other. Ball mills are commonly used in the manufacture of Portland cement and finer grinding stages of mineral processing one example being the Spro Tire Drive Grinding Mill. Industrial ball mills can be as large as 8.5 m in diameter with a 22 mW motor, drawing approximately 0.0011% of the total world's power. However, small versions of ball mills can be found in laboratories where they are used for grinding sample material for quality assurance. The power predictions for ball mills typically use the following form of the bond equation. Where A rotating drum causes friction and attrition between steel rods and ore particles. But note that the term rod mill is also used as a synonym for a slitting mill, which makes rods of iron or other metal. Rod mills are less common than ball mills for grinding minerals. The rods used in the mill, usually a high carbon steel, can vary in both the length and the diameter. However, the smaller the rods, the larger is the total surface area and hence, the greater the grinding efficiency. Autogenous or autogenic mills are so called due to the self grinding of the ore. A rotating drum throws larger rocks of ore in a cascading motion which causes impact breakage of larger rocks and compressive grinding of finer particles. It is similar in operation to a sag mill as described below but does not use steel balls in the mill. Also known as ROM or run of mine grinding. SAG is an acronym for semi-autogenous grinding. Sag mills are autogenous mills but use grinding balls like a ball mill. A sag mill is usually a primary or first stage grinder. Sag mills use a ball charge of 8 to 21%. The largest sag mill is 42 in diameter, powered by a 28 MW motor. A sag mill with a 44 diameter and a power of 35 MW has been designed. Attrition between grinding balls and ore particles causes grinding of finer particles. Sag mills are characterized by their large diameter and short length as compared to ball mills. The inside of the mill is lined with lifting plates to lift the material inside the mill, where it then falls off the plates onto the rest of the ore charge. Sag mills are primarily used at gold, copper, and platinum mines with applications also in the lead, zinc, silver, alumina and nickel industries. A rotating drum causes friction and attrition between rock pebbles and ore particles. May be used where product contamination by iron from steel balls must be avoided. Quartz or silica is commonly used because it is inexpensive to obtain. A high-pressure grinding roll, often referred to as HPGRs or roller press, consists out of two rollers with the same dimensions, which are rotating against each other with the same circumferential speed. The special feeding of bulk material through a hopper leads to a material bed between the two rollers. The bearing units of one roller can move linearly and are pressed against the material bed by springs or hydraulic cylinders. The pressures in the material bed are greater than 50 MPa. In general they achieve 100 to 300 MPa. 
By this the material bed is compacted to a solid volume portion of more than 80%. The roller press has a certain similarity to roller crushers and roller presses for the compacting of powders, but purpose, construction and operation mode are different. Extreme pressure causes the particles inside of the compacted material bed to fracture into finer particles and also causes microfracturing at the grain size level. Compared to ball mills HPGRs achieve a 30 to 50% lower specific energy consumption, although they are not as common as ball mills since they are a newer technology. A similar type of intermediate crusher is the edge runner which consists of a circular pan with two or more heavy wheels known as mullers rotating within it, material to be crushed is shoved underneath the wheels using attached plow blades. Another type of fine grinder commonly used is the Bure stone mill, which is similar to old-fashioned flour mills. A VSI mill throws rock or ore particles against a wear plate by slinging them from a spinning center that rotates on a vertical shaft. This type of mill uses the same principle as VSI crusher. Tower mills, often called vertical mills, stirred mills, or regrind mills, are a more efficient means of grinding material at smaller particle sizes and can be used after ball mills in a grinding process. Like ball mills, grinding balls or pebbles are often added to stirred mills to help grind ore, however these mills contain a large screw mounted vertically to lift and grind material. In tower mills, there is no cascading action as in standard grinding mills. Stirred mills are also common for mixing quicklime into a lime slurry. There are several advantages to the tower mill, low noise, efficient energy usage, and low operating costs. Image of sag mill during installation Increase of the surface area of a solid, manufacturing of a solid with a desired grain size, pulping of resources. Kick for D50 mm Grinding degree referring to grain size D80. E is the energy, W is the work index measured in a laboratory ball mill P80 is the mill circuit product size Indiana micrometers, F80 is the mill circuit feed size Indiana micrometers.